Money, big money. We're not talking about big projects. You're not going to hear me talk about an airport. You're not going to hear me talk about a streetcar. You sure as hell won't hear me talk about a downtown baseball stadium. Mayor Quentin Lucas will deliver his first State of the City address in just about half an hour, and he's pretty honest about what he's not touching. So what will he address? Our Kelly Taylor talked with the mayor about his budget, and Kelly, there are a couple of items drawing attention. Yeah, Brad, the mayor says that it'll be a meat and potato speech, so you can expect to hear him talk about his marijuana pardon plan, zero fare transit, infrastructure, violent crime, and some other basic services. The city council approved a measure to eliminate public transit fare in Kansas City. Thursday, Mayor Quentin Lucas will deliver the annual city budget to city council. It's expected to include nearly $5 million for his zero fare transit initiative. That we could come up still with a, an equitable budget, one that's responsible, but that also is able to increase our funding amount at, K, at ATA from $58 million to $63 million. I think that's outstanding. Now, frankly, I think it's a sign of the city's commitment to zero fare transit. Lucas says there were redundancies in the budget and a good amount of efficiency, so they were able to make that happen. The project is expected to cost about eight million dollars. The mayor's office says the rest of the money is expected to come from a private entity. We're also following reports of a $500,000 cut to Children's Mercy Hospital funding from the city. First, I'm not confirming that at all because the budget's not out yet. The mayor wouldn't answer questions about it, but says the city has commitments to mental health investments, social workers in the KC Police Department, indigent health and public health services, and the budget will reflect that. There are scarce resources, but I think if you're actually looking at what it is we're trying to address and fund, to suggest that only one institution can deliver a set of services that are vital to the people of Kansas City means that you're ignoring a lot of others every day. We're trying to make sure, first of all, that we're taking care of the people of Kansas City, but that also we're being as responsible as possible. And to the extent organizations have other opportunities to help supplement their funding, then we would like to ask them to make sure they're doing that. Children's Mercy sent over a statement Tuesday saying that they're confused by the devastating cut. It was unexpected and they learned about it from the media. It threatens the health and well-being of our children. It went on to say the city funds we receive, usually around 650000 annually, are used to offset the more than $3.5 million in uncompensated care that we provide to underserved and often uninsured children in Kansas City, Missouri. And you can see the hospital's full statement over on our website. A hospital spokesperson declined a request for an interview today. The city has been top of mind for us on another front. We've been asking about the total cost for the Chiefs parade last week. And so far, no numbers. Brad, Ellen. All right, keep us posted. Thank you, Kelly.